But we begin with Brittany Griner, the WNBA star back on U.S. soil. In just a few moments, we'll hear from former governor of New Mexico, Bill Richardson. He played a key role in the negotiations to get her home. He certainly did. But let's go right now to Mireya Villarreal right there at Brook Army Medical Center, where Griner will be undergoing a medical evaluation. Good morning, Mireya. Hey, good morning, Cecilia. Overnight, Brittany Griner's plane landed at Kelly Field here in San Antonio. She was then brought to Brook Army Medical Center right behind me around 4.30 this morning. Now, while the Bamsey Griner will go through the official reintegration program for military personnel and civilians who've been held captive overseas. Now, before she was in official U.S. custody, Russian state media released video of the WNBA star boarding a plane and saying she was happy to be heading back home. Now, she's not exactly home just yet. That's Phoenix, Arizona, but she's very familiar with Texas because she played basketball at Baylor not too far from San Antonio. Now, the reintegration program requires physical checkups, but it's primarily designed to help Grinder decompress and meet with mental health experts. In the end, it will be her decision when she's ready to meet up with family. Now, her stay here at Bamsey in San Antonio is not expected to be a very long one. And in fact, when she gets the all clear because she's a civilian, she can pretty much walk out those doors. Eva. Maria, thank you for that. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.